Rohit Sahaja and then Shradananda. Hey, hey. Hi there, thank you. Um, I'm so glad you're meeting on Monday night, um, just so that we could get to ask you questions. Yeah, week. yeah, we didn't want to skip it. You know, we're going to be traveling. And it was just going to be cutting it too close. So it was like, well, we're here Monday. So let's just rearrange it and see see if um, it works on other people's schedule and stuff. But, you know. Yeah, well, we'll thank we'll, you. Yeah, yeah. OK, so, so I have a it's a very vague question. Sure. And I have a very vague answer. Okay. <laughs> you tell me your answer before I ask the question. Okay, okay. perfect. <laughs> um, I was thinking, you know, a couple of months ago, you gave me um, a suggestion. You gave me, I want to say a prescription, whatever you want to call it. Right. To do um, clove oil um, internally and, uh, and sage on a body tonic um, for my memory. And I've okay. been doing it, you know, and it feels like I'm doing pretty good. Um, and then I just thought, well, I ran out of clove, my clove uh -huh. oil. So I thought, well, do I just keep doing this or do I take a break? I mean, so the right. general vague question is, how do you know when to stop? I mean, and, you know, if it's working, would you still want to stop and take a break or? Um... Both, of, both of those you could take kind of long term. So mm -hmm. um, it's been a couple of months and it is improving. It is getting better. Yeah, I feel clear. I, I would I would stay with it. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, I would stay with it. OK, I just, yeah. you know, the, the, the question that arose out of that more in general is, when do you know? And I think it's probably specific to each person and how the um, treatments are working for them. But um, yeah, so I just sort of like, well, do I just keep ordering this one or? I, I, you know, I would say it's probably not forever, but um, you, you know, the thing with the sage is it's very good for, for um, calming down the sensory nerves, but it's also very good for, for brain fatigue. Yeah. And, and it also is kind of strengthening and fortifying to the body. And, and you know, it stimulates so many processes in the body. Um, I, I use sage quite a bit. Um, I, I like to use sage. I think it's a great long-term thing to use for, for health issues. And, you know, even if it's just for reducing brain fatigue, I think that's um, always super solid. Um, and then the, the clove, I mean, it has a lot of good things. I would say clove is really kind of, underutilized in the in the west you know in europe they use it uh, especially in france they use it um, quite a bit but you know he, here people don't use uh, essential oils internally like they do in europe and in france you know we i mean we use them here when we talk but i mean you know most times people are just diffusing them or applying them to the skin and so you know, people have a slightly different take on how to use essential oils here in the U.S. because of that. And, you know, clove is um, qu quite amazing in its little area that it's able to treat. And um, I, I really think in the in the U.S., you know, I, I can't speak for Europe, but in the U.S., uh, clove is very underutilized. You know, it's, it's, it's really quite amazing. And so, you know, if you're having improvement and it's something that you can take long term, which both of these are, I, I, I would just keep using it. Yeah. Okay. Okay, you know, there's is... other things where you do have to take a break. Like a good example is yarrow. You know, yarrow after about three or four weeks, you got to take a little bit of a break. Uh -huh. Just for like a week and then you could do it again. But the reason being with that is yarrow will reduce your body's ability to absorb iron. So uh -huh. there's reasons why you would stop and and then start up again. But clove and sage, pretty solid. Like you could use them, you know, sage, you could use as a tonic for a very long period of time. And the, the interesting thing about sage is not only does it um, help with brain fatigue, it actually helps protect the, the nerves. And so it really diminishes the tendency for nerves to be damaged or impacted by toxicity in the body or being overstimulated, being um, uh, affected by inflammation. You know, anything of this nature, um, sage is very good for diminishing. And then the, the clove is actually very good for 
for reducing inflammation on the nerves themselves. And so um, I like that as a one, two thing. Um, you, you know, I don't have people use it a lot, but um, I, I find that when I do that combination, I really like the impact of it. Like it's, it's noticeable for me. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you. Yeah, just... clove is really good for the thyroid. Clove is really good for digestion and and uh, the digestive tract and and how the muscles contract in the digestive tract and any sort of cramping that can, can potentially happen. Hmm. It's a super great uh, antibacterial antiviral, and so it's it's good for a lot of reasons, and it diminishes pain. Uh huh. Great. I'll keep yeah. taking. It. Yeah. Okay. Thanks so much. You're so welcome.